Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a sponsored product from Viofo A229 dual channel Wi-Fi desk cam. Yeah, I always want one of these and the company reach out and send uh, everything I need to install this into my minivan camper. So today I'm going to unbox to see what's in the box and then I'm gonna do an installation how I'm gonna install in the vehicle and also I'm gonna show you different additional accessory that you can purchase to help control this uh, dual camera better all right let's check it out so I'm gonna go through the specs of this uh, dual Desk cam, and you can see there's a 2K and 2K camera. Also, uh, they have Sony Starvis sensor, and then it you can control it through Wi-Fi connection. And also, it have a built-in GPS, so you can uh, lock it with your video at the same time. All right, let's open up this box. So once you remove the sleeve, the sleeve, the box cover, you will find the main camera. And then under this should be manual warranty card. And let's see what else we have under here. We have uh, the second camera. The 12 volt accessory plug. This is, uh, hmm. Not sure what this is. We're gonna find out what this is. Charging cable. And this is actually a very ultra thin uh, coaxial cable which is uh, important because you want this cable to be as small as possible to run along and hide it, you know, along here, all the way from the front, all the way to the back. All right. Okay, so you're gonna have a main camera, which is mount in the front of the windshield. Then you have a second camera, which will, will install either in the way in the back of the rear window power supply cable that's uh this here is a uh, okay so it's a USB to USB C USB A to USB C cable and this here is actually is uh you know you put the SD card in and then you're going to plug in the computer there's an SD port that you can put your put your SD card in here, so you can transfer your video from to here and then go to your computer to this one and then go to your computer. And you can see there's a rear coaxial cable uh, input that you're gonna put it out into the rear camera. And then you have a port for a micro SD port. And the camera is adjustable. Yeah, the lens will be adjustable up and down. This thing, the same, you can adjust it up and down. All right. Also, along with it, you have two screen protector. You have a cart. For customer service number, and then you can, uh, you know, for registration warranty. There's a card tell you how to test the GPS before installation. Then you have a instruction guide, which is in all in Chinese. So, yeah, I might, maybe I gotta. Yeah, I got a 
version with the writing in Chinese. So we're gonna have to figure the good this out. Maybe I will be able to find a um, manual online with the English. Okay, so I almost forgot about this piece. This is a tool to use to uh, pry on the molding. So that way you can put the coaxial cable and hide it and run it to the back. So along, the, you're gonna need to purchase a, a SD card, micro SD card to record your video into the camera. So that, this is not come with the camera. So you need to purchase one of these. And then instead of fumbling and do uh, control record and unrecord the camera, you can use the remote button right here, wireless remote, Bluetooth remote control. This is a filter lens for the front camera, I believe, because you know, sometimes the sun will hit straight at it. This will keep it from getting blinded and you still be able to record. And this is a hard wire kit. Instead of plug into the 12 volt accessory port, you can hard wire and use this uh, to uh, have power to the camera at all time. That way, it uh, if somebody hit your vehicle, it will record. You know? So before you even attempt to install this device, make sure you test it out. Make sure everything works as advertised, and then you're gonna find where you're gonna install this, and then you're gonna spray it, clean it with some isol alcohol. That way, it will stick better. And by the way, you can remove this this way. Yeah. You actually can remove the camera from the windshield once you install. So, But I will leave this on so that way I know exactly where the camera is going to be. Just a matter of slide it in. So according to the instruction book, it say you need to install somewhere that it will not interfere with the with the sunshade on both you know so i'm going to choose right here right under the shade right here so it will stick better plus i'm going to leave a little bit of room so i can slide the camera out you know for file transferring if i need to take it out all right yeah i'm going to drive it let's see how it go before i pull the sticker There you go, once it's in, I'm just gonna lift it out so that way it doesn't put a lot of weight on it while it's uh, cure and stick well to it. Next up, I'm gonna run the power cable. You can see where it's plugging in, up to here, and I'm gonna hide it along the way, all the way to here. And coming down, maybe go across here. So I'm gonna see how it go. And then coming down, 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 down. And then gonna go across to the power accessory down here, which is down here. Yep, right there. All right, I'm gonna run it and I'm gonna show you what it look like. All right, so after I stick the camera, the front camera up there, and I start connecting the cable, start from here, and then I run the cable. So this is a power cable for the whole, both camera. This go up here, come across, cross, cross here, 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 and then come here. You don't even see the cable to you. It's high very well. The, the package come with a little plastic uh, prior that you can use to, uh, Try these uh, plastic molding so you can push the cable down. So you can see, and then I go inside here. See that? And coming down, 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 down. To here, you, you can hardly see any cable. I don't think you can see any cable at all. 
then coming down here, this right there, you can see a little bit. The reason I don't want to bend the cable too much, so you want to have a nice curve around, and then I hide it under the panel again, and then run across here. Of course, I'm going to prefer to use this 12-volt uh, outlet, so that's why I leave it. The kit come with the adapter here. You can either run with a 5-volt uh, USB, or you can plug in with the cigarette lighter. All right? We're going to go take a look at the uh, cable, the coaxial cable. Super thin cable that you will not see it at all unless I show you where it is. Okay, so I ran the coaxial cable, which is a thinner one, along here. Over, 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 over. And coming down to here, you don't even see that I run through here, do you? That's how thin this uh, coaxial cable is. And come along here, let me show you a little bit. Maybe you can see where it is. I can hardly see it. You might be able to see it a little bit right there in that angle. Of course, I was surprised that the cable is long enough to go all the way to in the back of a Toyota 2008 Toyota Sienna camera. See, it's going under all these panels. All right, we're gonna go forward in the back. So hey, we left over there, coming across. You don't see any cable, do you? It's hiding under this, and then hiding under here, hiding under that panel, and all the way come across. The only cable you're gonna see is coming out of there that hook up to the camera. Right now, I'm temporarily put uh, some masking tape to support the weight of the camera while the uh, sticky pad cure. Once it's done, I will peel it off. This is what it looked like without the tapes. So right now it's still curing the sticky. So I kind of used this to support the weight a little bit. So it take, give it time to uh, cure. And this is how you install the front camera there. Cable run all the way across there. Come back all the way over here. You don't see any extra. I have extra, but I loop them and then tuck them all the way up to the ceiling. And that is how you install a uh, Viofo. A229 dual channel Wi-Fi dash cam. So with this, you can either scan App, App Store or Google Play. In this case, I use Android, so I download the app from uh, Google Play. So once you have the app uh, open, you're going to have to uh, turn on your Wi-Fi. You're going to look for 5G via OFO. You're going to try to connect it, the, your phone with the front camera. This is how you do it. If it doesn't open up, you just close it and re, uh, close the app itself and then reopen it. And then it will, sh it will bring up the live view like this. You actually can switch switch the camera. So right here, if you press on the setting, you will see uh, you can kind of control majority of the function of the camera without having to use the panel on the camera itself. So if you push on the switch camera, it will switch the view, front, back, picture in picture, all that stuff. Yeah, see picture in picture right there. So if you push on the switch camera button right there, it will switch different mode. And if you want to take a snapshot of what you see on the screen, just push on the snapshot button on the right there. So if you push on the manual button right there, It'll bring you to all the video that is recorded on the SD card. You can either delete or download file from here via your to your phone instead of have to connect the wire to it. So once your phone is uh, connect to the camera via Wi-Fi, you can do pretty much a lot of different things.
So I installed this uh, wireless uh, button here to uh, protect the videos. Let's say you want to save uh, the video that is recording right now. If you press, right now you have to connect to the camera first. You can see it blinking. Now it's blue. That means it's connected. You can hear that? It says video protected. So this uh, sample video started. that I pulled from the video camera. Protected. So this video is protected. about around 2 or 3 p.m. Recording. Two two channels channels started. Started. This one is, uh, I would say, about 5.30 or so. It's when I go get dinner. So you can see the next video is going to get darker and darker. So the video quality is very high, even though uh, my video is only 1K. So I kind of downgrade this video down from video 2K protected. to 1K. And it still looks very good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next video.